Welcome back to Zika. Let's see what fine oven construction and interiors has in store for us. that the last time I was here, it was quite the transformation, but today is when I am really feeling the art and the care and the love that Fine Evan Construction and Interiors has truly poured into this house. I talked about how this is a prime example of what we do with a client's budget, and we have a few more bits and bobs here and there it's more livable now so i am going to go into detail about the type of furniture and how budget also plays into things like that i am currently standing in the dining room but let's begin with the first room which is the living room so we're going to head right over i am excited i am seeing it right now as i'm walking over the floors are beautiful and now we have complemented them with these beautiful carpets and if you know anything about fine urban construction and interiors and how we select soft furnishings you know we're also considering all the other colors we've put on the wall and how the room will feel so thinking of tones that are really really warm welcoming brightening we've gone with these gold touches they have gray it's a really really classy simple carpet and does what it needs to do but the elephant in the room you guys I talked about the furniture and fine urban construction and interiors is always going to go that one step further and make sure that your furniture suits your family and all your needs. So all the seats you're seeing in this living room, I'm seeing we have several big couches. This. I'm looking at three three people if you're my size I'm quite wide but if you're smaller I can see four people I'm seeing another quite large seat there I'm seeing these two smaller seats which I absolutely love I love these so much because they give so much flexibility to this room because I'm thinking if people are more sitting on this area where they're not necessarily watching the TV as much you can have these seats facing this side but Let's say, you know, you have a smaller number of people, but they're more concentrated on this side of the living room, which has also been complemented by a very, very beautiful carpet. It's so easy to just turn these, so now you have much more room. I really love the idea of adding these in, but I cannot go on without talking about the absolutely stunning detailing that we have on these seats. I do love me a rivet. It's just a really nice, delicate way of something, of adding something that's eye-catching. These are also in gold, picking up on those gold tones that we have on the carpet. What more could you ask for? But I'm gonna go and sit on this big boy and get into a bit more detail about how we came to this design and these choices. Now, but when you're working with fine urban construction and interiors, we're able to go out there and ensure that the quality of every bit of your furniture is ideal. And it's also a very cost effective way of doing it. So when we're talking about budget, you can see just how much detail we're paying attention to, even when it comes down to customizing your seats. Alongside that, soft furnishings in general, of course, I am looking at the curtains has that reflective element to it. Now, when you see a curtain that has this many folds in it, you understand that we have gone ahead to make the most lush feeling experience because you don't want a curtains that don't have enough folds in them because it means that you're really skimping on the fabric. But we choose extensive fabric because we understand when you have these folds, whether it's open or closed, it does add that lush feel and you can tell that the quality of the material is really, really good. And again, it has that reflective element to it picking out on the gold detailing. I always say Fine Urban is all about the details and these are the ways that we do it in really subtle, classy ways. So we have it in the curtains. Let me put that back. We have it in the curtains. We have it in the carpet. We have it in the seats. It's just really, really great. And if you're keen, look down guys. Even the legs of these brown seats are gold. How perfect. It's 
absolutely exquisite. And now let's talk about the PS resistance. I feel like that's gonna become my favorite term as I'm touring these houses because there's always that eye-catching element and what better place for that to be than the TV wall. We have gone with our classic touches. If it ain't broke, do not fix it. So we have added the textural element. We have the display shelves with the beautiful lighting just so you can make this house feel like a home by having trinkets that the family really loves and adores and then we have the massive TV and of course to add in more warmth apart from just all the warm colors we've selected we've added in this really really big fireplace it's electrical of course it's just easier and you know classier and then as we continue on you can see more of that beautiful detailing in this really dark brown with the warm lights and the cold lighting all around the tv wall it is a just a very very well done tv wall and it's one of those things that fine urban construction and interiors always knocks out of the park now for one last thing that is golden, that is shining, that is shimmering, that just brings this room together, it's voila. The selection of a really, really beautiful chandelier with crystal just to make sure that that light is really bouncing all around. And I have to say, as I'm going through, you guys will have a really good look at the befores. And as much as we appreciate the work that people have done previ previously, we understand that times come where it's time to move on, it's time to update your house, it's time to make it fit the modern age, and that's exactly what we've done here. We've still used the same materials, if you're thinking gypsum, and the introduction of light. It's just that we saw the colors that were here before in this house and we're like, no, it's about time we changed it, we've made things less bulky, and I want you guys to see how we've continued this theme throughout. So following the floor, because that's the one thing we've done really, really consistent to just make the transition seem seamless. We have two steps over there and we have this wooden carpet. This is not tile, but we went and picked out the best options on the market just to keep everything really, really seamless. And you wouldn't know unless someone told you. Really, you really wouldn't know. Last time I was here, they were just laying it down in the dining room. Go back and watch that video so you're following us on each step. I am looking at the paint on the wall as well. Really, really, really subtle. It's, this is what it means to live in the modern times, you guys. It means selecting colors that will age with you and will age properly. This house had some very interesting choices when it came to textures and colors and we could recognize what it was. It was a very creative decision that was made throughout this house and you're trying to have so many different elements that seem like a good idea and they clash. Yes, but if you play around with subtle colors and you keep things consistent as you go through, as you can see we've done here again, with we've, we've kept the curtains the same, we've kept some of those touches the same in terms of having the curtain holders be also gold, seeing how the chandelier here, really nice warm lights. I can see that we've gone for more of a brass finish, but it is in the same family. Now for this dining set, it is something that the family had with them. So this was something we had to consider. It does not stick out. It does not feel out of place. We have finished the floor off with an inclusion of another carpet just to make sure that when you're pulling back the seats, you're not causing any damage to the floor. And then it's just for the acoustics as well. When, when you have a carpet, the acoustics tend to be really, really wonderful. We have large windows, a lot of light, a beautiful uh, light fixture, nice, simple, lights all around and a wonderful gypsum and of course to make things ultra convenient we have made sure that the sink is really really easy to reach so you're not having to go into the kitchen to wash your hands everything is very very accessible and you can see the consistency in terms of colors and textures and that classic feel this is also something that's going to age really really well with this space now moving on forward another space that we touched is the kitchen we have a transitional hallway here and we made sure that the floor was consistent with everything we've done but as soon as you're stepping into the kitchen totally different world 
And that is because we were very, very intentional in creating a transition, a very, very obvious, you've entered a different space. And that's why the tile has been chosen to be really white. This is a classic white kitchen. It's not completely white because if you take a closer look at the type of marble we've chosen for the walls, for the backsplash, for the floors, and even for this beautiful countertop on the island, you can see that it's all consistent because it has the gray veining throughout it. So it does create that uniformity without being too bland and making it feel too stock, too clinical, too white. But we that is the main color palette. We've gone for the grays, we've gone some for some lighter colors like some creams in the seat this is not um, a completely white seat so it's cream but it's extremely detailed i love that it adds another visual element and of course it's completely functional when you have an island you want to make the most out of it it's not just for storage it's not just for the counter space it's also a place where you can sit down whether you want to get away from the other spaces and maybe have your breakfast here, read a paper here in the morning, have your cup of coffee. It's just all about creating different opportunities. So you can see the color palette is quite consistent. We have the light veining, as I mentioned, we have the gray on the sides, and we've also broken up the camp cabinetry, which is majority white with this element here. I'm looking at these doors and this is what we like to do to just make sure things are not leaning more into the bland. So we play around with breaking up the colors in a really nice way, but making sure that everything works well together. I am really, really loving that here, I can see that we have gone with the silver handles. It is quite a nice touch. I'm looking around, I'm enjoying how the utilities in this kitchen match in. You know, modern kitchen one uh, tend to have a lot of stainless steel finishes and the touch of silver and the handles really plays into, you can see the, the cooker here. We can see we have an oven over there, which is tucked away actually in into the island. I'm sorry guys, if this tour feels like it's a bit out of, all over the place as I'm going through this kitchen is because there's so many things that are catching my eye. I'm like, oh, I see that. Oh, I can see we've done that. Because I'm noticing the oven here and I'm also noticing the fact that, something I didn't mention when I walked in, we have the microwave right over here. It's just one of those things that fine urban construction and interiors make sure to do so that things are not kind of teetering on shelves or are getting in the way of everything else. So having those tucked into the island is just such a fantastic idea. I can see the double door fridge has fit in perfectly with the space that we had made and the things that you might not see. We're looking up now. I'm looking at the gypsum. We have some white recess slides. We have that beautiful centerpiece over there, but there's more lighting fixtures in this kitchen that you're not able to see until you open the door then voila everything is revealed everything is well lit and these are the touches that fine oven construction and interiors can add into your kitchen to elevate it now a kitchen is not complete without a pantry modern kitchens need pantries because we are adjusting to how people are living now we have a pantry here we've gone ahead and finished that off again with those white touches and the marble uh, tiles all throughout having that consistency we have yet another space that we put our magic touch to and that is the laundry room this did not need a lot of fuss we made sure it was enough to just have um, a really hefty this is quite hefty washing machine it looks quite new and like top of the market and i wouldn't be shocked if we had a hand at this but i also wouldn't be shocked if this is something that the client brought in themselves because we work with you guys. I think that's another thing I like to reiterate. So we want to work with you guys. So whether you want us to come in and do that, whether you're like, listen, this is my piece of land, do everything. We can do that. But if we meet a client who's like, listen, I just want you to do my living room, my staircase, my dining room, my kitchen, my laundry room. And I have a couple of furniture pieces that are 
from my family that I want in my house and you guys maybe can do the furniture in the living room and that's why I think this is a prime example of how fine urban construction and interiors truly is for you we are trying to work with you and where you're at so another thing we've included as always is just having a, a sink area every laundry room does require a space like this but the most important thing is the consistency with the tiles that we put on the wall but because this is an area that is going to have a lot of water splashing we need to make sure that it's safe so you can see for the ground we've gone for a grittier tile that is going to wear better with all the exposure to water now let's go to the final place i know people always say last but not least but this, this next space is a place where fine urban construction and interiors excels in transforming it has had quite the huge impact but i'm going to start the journey right here so the transitional spaces for this house really needed to make sense we had to make sure the floors and the ceilings really matched up so that is a connection between all these spaces that fine oven has touched and also speaking about that the common bathroom had quite a funny bit on it and it was the ceiling and we felt the need of going in there and changing it because it had this really I don't know what that texture is. It's not popcorn ceiling. It's something else and it just didn't feel necessary and really told the age of the house. So we went in there and we changed that up and you guys will be able to see the before and then afters. But now where I'm standing right now, we have the stairs, which I'll get into in a minute. We have the living room. We have the dining room. We've just come from the kitchen. There was no way we were going to design all these spaces and not make sure that things felt seamless as you're transitioning through them. Everything needed to feel like it belongs. So this entire floor truly feels like fine urban construction and interiors all throughout, which makes me really, really happy because I'm always talking about consistency and through lines and all that. So this is a prime example. So now we are on the stairs. Where shall we begin? Let me, let me start right here. So we have a display area that I didn't even touch on when we were in the living room, but you can see the duality. It serves this section and the staircase just aesthetically, but also when you're in the living room, you get to see these beautiful pieces. It's just another opportunity for the client to make their house feel like a home, the trinkets that are special to them, but also if they're like, hey guys, can you help us fill, fill up these spaces? We're also able to go out there and pick up decor pieces that would complete this wall really beautifully. They also have lights in that and back here so this entire wall has changed actually this entire corner has changed quite a bit because that was a fully open section so the entrance to the living room was quite unnecessarily big and that's why we thought this is a really creative way of creating a partition and here we had windows so we had windows at the bottom and at the top and again it did not feel necessary but we did see the aesthetic value of this section and that's why we've created more space for display and I love this little piece over here the silver piece that just says home which is exactly what i've been going on and on about and this is a special touch by the client that has been added but you can see the vision once this entire wall is filled up it's not going to feel too busy it's going to feel just right it's going to feel like it belongs and that's exactly what we do when we create new opportunities in your home now let's talk about the staircase i want to do this from top to bottom because this was initially a spiral staircase and you know us we do love a spiral staircase but we don't put them in places where they don't fit it actually did not do this house any favors in terms of making things convenient or safe as you're walking down and that's why i wanted to start from up here because i'm trying to imagine what it must have been like this journey of walking down these stairs trying to hold on to a handrail that was far too close to the wall because I am I'm thinking back to the images and that's what it was there was a handrail that was far too close to the wall and did not feel like it was really functional but now you can see we have gone ahead and built out a rail all around this stairs it's nice and simple and fits in with the design and it's quite sturdy that's what's most important we've chosen the right materials but also for the stairs 
this journey feels much, much easier, much brighter, of course, helped by the fact that we have this lovely big window allow allowing a lot of light to come in. We've gone ahead and also included this really, really tall curtains. And you can see, guys, that's a lot of folds. Those gathers are what amplify the lux feel. But yeah, we've done that. We've made them to measure just so they're about grazing the, the top of the step. But let's get back to the stairs. Now we have two handrails on either side that are really easily reachable. I feel like I have so much space. It's so well lit. But speaking of lighting again, under each step, we have gone ahead and added a strip of light. We've done these really, really beautiful tiles and I love the contrast between the dark brown and the light brown tiles going all the way up. And that was something that we felt was a personal touch to the client. If you look at the before footage, you will notice that they did have a lot of wooden textures throughout their floors, but it was just done in a way that felt really busy. So we wanted to still incorporate those colors and that's why we've gone for this brown coloring on the stairs and also why we went ahead and picked this type of flooring. So overall, I'm standing in this house, I'm looking at the colors and it screams fine urban construction and interiors to me. But not only that, it is screaming luxury, it's screaming class, and that's exactly what you need. When you're doing such a simple renovation, you need to have trust in the people that you're working with, which is something that we had to work on the client with because they had been burnt before. Before they were able to call us in here, they'd called in people who started doing some work and were absolutely not happy about it and stopped it. And for them to find our work and be like, you know what, we're gonna give it a second chance and you're the guys that we want, it's really an honor and I can say we have truly delivered. This house feels completely different. It feels like pure fine urban constru and constructions class. And what more can I say? It's a beautiful transformation. enjoyed this tour as much as I have all the details on how we have been able to work hand in hand with the client and the consideration of budget and how simple this transformation has been but how effective it has been has been one of the greatest joys I've experienced since working with Fine Urban Construction and Interiors and I hope you guys have learned so much. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments and talking about interacting with us. For all of you who are interested in engaging with us in any way, shape or form, we are on all social media platforms. You can go onto Google, type in Fine Urban Construction and Interiors and the whole list of the social media platforms where you can find us on will pop right up. But for those who want a more personal touch, we have an office in Hurlingham. All those details are on all our sites and you can also give us a call. So for more content, make sure you are subscribed to this channel and you turn on that notification bell.